Hello, this is AC Blender Tutorials, and in this video we're going to be looking at applying alpha channel textures to our blocks. So in the last, text, uh, in the last tutorial we worked with taking our basic block that we had made and making different types of blocks with it. So this time we'll take it to the next level and let's make some leaves. So we'll do the same basic thing we did last time. So I'll duplicate this. I'll call this block uh, leaves oak. And then I will do the same thing for the proxy. I'll call this block leaves oak proxy. Still using the, uh, the same data. And actually, let me take, I will call this data block basic. And I will call the other block block detail. That way we can just keep the, the data straight. So let me take my oak leaves and I'll remove them from the dirt group. I'll add a new group and I'll call this block leaves oak. And now I'll go to my, take my proxy oak leaves, remove it from the dirt group and put it in the leaves oak group. So now you can see that they're in the proper group. I need them on the proper layers. So I'll just move them onto their own layer. Okay, so here's the block leaves oak. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the material. So I'll base it off of the dirt material. So I will just copy this and I'll call it leaves oak. Again, it's applied to the object. I'll go to my proxy block and I will apply this texture. I'm going to go back to the detail block and let me go to the materials. So I need to open a new one, so I will do my oak leaves texture. And you can see what the texture looks like, and this actually has an alpha channel. Now I don't want to use the transmission of the principal shader, and let me just show you why. It turns it into uh, basically like glass. That's actually backwards for a transmission input, so I'd have to flip it. But you'd still get something that looks very wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to mix a transparent shader. So I'll do mix alpha, and I want it fully opaque when my alpha is 1. So now let me add in a transparent shader. And I actually want this to be 1 or white, so I want it to be fully transparent. And you can see that's what it looks like. And when we render it, you can see through it. This looks very busy because you can see both sides of the leaves. So I'm going to use a rendering trick so that you can't see the other side of the leaves. So I'm going to set it so that the light, not the light path, I will use the geometry for the back face. So this means the face that you're looking at is the back. So if you're looking at the back of the face, I'm going to have it show this transparent texture again. And now you can see what this does. It sets it up so that we can't see the back of the leaves. And so this will give thicker leaves when you have a when you have a bush, but it won't be too too dense. All right, so that is the texture for the cycles. Now let us look for the blender internal. We have quite a bit of work to do. It still looks like dirt. Okay, so what we have is we'll change the material to the leaves oak. We'll need to take our texture and we'll duplicate it and we'll do these and we'll set this to leaves oak. We'll need to load a new image, so we'll do our leaves oak. There are leaves oak, so now we can see the leaves here, but we'll need to change this as well, and there it is. We'll just connect the value of our texture, and now we can see that the output 
is shown as transparent but what I also want to do is want to set the transparency to ray trace and you can see that this turns off the, the back faces as well and that is how we would get our leaves so set it back to cycles and now it's just a matter of the displacement and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a grass block or a gla grass texture for displacement so I'm going to still call this uh, leaf displacement I'm just going to be using a grass texture leaves oak displacement and then I'll be loading in the grass uh, top displacement but I'll just be loading in the grass color so make sure that image sampling looks good okay that's what I want and let me go back into my displacement settings I'll set everything to use my leaves oak displacement just like before I'm going to go into wireframe mode and set my settings accordingly so go up just a bit all right that looks good just strength of or mid-level of 0.23 I'm going to give these a lot more variation than usual. I'll give these 0.34 so that it's almost an entire Minecraft voxel worth. And now I will just copy these settings and paste them all the way down. collapse these all right that looks good and this is this is what the final leaves look like now I would like to comment more on these uh, this is just more of a simple block for this tutorial series there is a more in-depth block tutorial that will go over a more robust design so that you'll be able to get rid of those but anyway for this this should be good enough and if it really bothers you you could use the proxy instead and it does not have those issues and you do that just by only having the proxy inside the group all right well thank you if you liked this please leave a like subscribe share it with others and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we will look at applying materials to blocks that have different textures on different sides. Alright, see you there. Bye.